coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Joby Aviation passes milestone in crewed testing. Diamond Aircraft debuts new flying club. Canadian pilots get new insurance option. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Talon Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Joby Aviation passes milestone in crewed testing. Joby Aviation has reason to celebrate, recently completing its first full transition from vertical to horizontal flight with a pilot on board. This puts the aircraft one step closer to achieving commercial operation. The manufacturer's all-electric air taxi demonstrated its in-flight transition capabilities for the first time in 2017. Hundreds of these flights have been completed since then, with all of them being uncrewed until now. With Chief Test Pilot James Buddy Denham at the controls, the aircraft took off from Joby's test facility in Marina, California on April 22nd. This air taxi is the latest to roll off Joby's Marina production line, registered November 544 Juliet X-Ray. It used helicopter-like vertical propulsion to get off the ground before beginning its transition to wingborne forward flight. The aircraft then reverted to vertical configuration to land back on the runway. Denham noted, quote, the aircraft flew exactly as expected, with excellent handling qualities and low pilot workload, end quote. Joby didn't stop there, quickly sending up three pilots for six more tests in the following week. This sets the company far ahead of other electric air taxi manufacturers, with Joby now routinely testing the hover-to-cruise transition while crewed. After the break, NASA and Boeing set aside sustainable aircraft test. The legendary BD-4 seat program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD-4 CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD-4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Sherwings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. NASA and Boeing set aside sustainable aircraft test. NASA and Boeing recently shared that they are putting the development of their X-66A sustainable flight demonstrator on hold. The aircraft project kicked off in 2023 with over a billion dollars of funding from both partners. The plan was to take an old McDonnell Douglas, later Boeing, MD-90 airliner and replace its wings with longer, thinner ones. This modification could provide massive cuts to fuel consumption and emissions. But Boeing and NASA have now confirmed that development of the X-66A sustainable flight demo is being put on hold. FAA gives in and awards SpaceX more Falcon 9 ops. The FAA recently took the Air Force's advice and granted SpaceX a drastic increase in annual Falcon 9 operations out of Vandenberg Space Force Base. Now, a draft environmental assessment allows Cape Canaveral operations to go from 50 to 120 per year. This redrafted environmental assessment also includes plans to build a brand new first stage landing zone to support up to 34 vertical touchdowns annually. The rescheduled virtual public meeting will be held on May 8th and comments will remain open through May 15th. Wyoming ANG successfully medevacs Antarctic cardiac patient. A patient who sustained a cardiac arrest was successfully evacuated from McMurdo Station in Antarctica, an op carried out by the Wyoming Air National Guard's 187th Aeromedical Evacuation Squadron. The patient is a U.S. civilian contractor and a veteran of over 20 Operation Deep Freeze missions. McMurdo Station houses about 500 personnel during the winter months when flights in and out are particularly challenging, if not impossible. As it were, temps at the station were hovering around minus 31 degrees, and blizzard conditions had prevented an earlier rescue attempt. Sent into space sends Oreo cookie into orbit. Recently, launch service company Sent into Space delivered a batch of soccer jerseys into orbit, but their latest delivery saw one of Nabisco's Oreo cookies. The firm did their usual thing, creating an Oreo-themed microsat to hold a single cookie in the perfect position for some cute spacefaring footage. 
The centerpiece was built to house a custom-engineered cookie cannon that was tested out with dozens of Oreo sleeves on the ground before sending it up to prime time. The end result, an orbital cookie dunk. That's it for today's Stripper on the Patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Diamond Aircraft debuts new flying club. GA manufacturer Diamond Aircraft recently launched its official flying community, Diamond Flying Club, and its connected online portal. Through this, members can register their profile, share stories, and presumably talk about how much they love their DA-62. The DFC is managed by Wanfang Diamond Aircraft's headquarters and structured around a single global base with three regional hubs in Europe, North America, and Asia-Pacific. Its website centers around six main functions. An overview of the DFC, a membership enrollment portal, news and event updates, a diamond-branded merchandise shop, event registration features, and a multilingual forum for members to stay connected across borders or time zones. It's part owner registry, part marketing tool, and part digital clubhouse for anyone who enjoys spending weekends polishing a DA-40. Membership is open not just to current Diamond Aircraft owners, but to aspiring pilots and general aviation enthusiasts as well. Diamond positions the DFC as an interactive global community, where users, experts, and curious bystanders can exchange experience and knowledge. So whether you're flying one or just wish you were, there's now a place for you to hang out and maybe buy a keychain while you're at it. After these messages, Canadian pilots get new insurance option. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name and indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most, time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy. Welcome back. Canadian pilots get new insurance option. The Canadian Owners and Pilots Association will now offer their own insurance option for pilots. The announcement says, quote, Pilots in Canada have faced numerous issues related to eligibility, aircraft type, age, and cost, all of which have impeded their ability to take to the skies. COPA aims to remove these obstacles with its new insurance program that will make flying more accessible for everyone. Launching this spring, the Aviators Canada Insurance Program is uniquely tailored to the needs of Canadian pilots and aircraft owners, end quote. The program is tailored to, quote, evolving industry needs and extensive feedback from COPA members, with a priority on, quote, access to coverage, optionality of coverage types, and quality service for all aviators, from low-time pilots to veteran and senior aviators, end quote. The offering works with Covalin and Global Aerospace, the biggest aviation insurer in the country, allowing COPA to access the kind of deep pockets needed in the industry, with the need of infrastructure needed to tie it all together. Ashlyn Dale, Eastern Vice Chair, Southern Ontario Regional Representative on the COPA Board of Directors and a member of the Insurance Task Force, said, quote, This plan opens insurance options to a much wider variety of Canadian aviators across the country who have otherwise had more challenges with securing insurance coverage. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.